What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm really excited because I'm going to be showing off one of my favorite decks which is Elemental Hero. However, this is an OTK build featuring my favorite card of all time, Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. Now I'll be honest with you, this may not be the most competitive way to play Hero as a go second OTK deck, especially in today's format. However, this is definitely one of the most fun ways to play it and I'm really loving this deck so I wanted to show it to you guys. With that being said though, make sure to like the video and and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already to see more videos just like this one we do deck profiles combo videos dual replays all that good stuff you'll see it right here on the channel so make sure you subscribe to stay tuned into all that good stuff with that being said i don't want to make you guys wait any longer so let's get into the deck profile all right so let's jump right into this deck profile because it's elemental hero one of my favorite decks and this is such a fun way to play it however just before we do i do want to say this may not be the most competitive way to play the deck however it is one of the most fun ways to utilize elemental hero hero flame wingman and there's also going to be an insane two card combo that i'm going to show you guys at the end of the video so make sure you stay around for that where i show off how to summon flame wingman and otk your opponent so i think this deck is super fun let's get right into it we are starting off with of course one elemental hero avion and one elemental hero bersinatrix these are kind of the bricks in your deck you really don't want to draw them hopefully we don't draw them but these cards are very important you're going to get to search them midway through your combo which is why you're playing the two then we're playing three vision hero ferris as well as two vision hero vion and one vision hero increase again you don't want to draw your increase it's a brick the nice thing about this deck is the otk combo is really just a two card combo so it doesn't really matter what the rest of your cards are the rest of your cards could really just be cards to bait out your opponents negates or hand traps especially because you're going second and then you can just two card combo after that the really cool thing is again you're going second so you're gonna have six cards in hand and you're only really gonna need any combination of two to otk your opponent so for this reason again you don't want to be drawing the increase you want to avoid drawing the increase in these two as much as possible which is why we're just playing the one then we're playing of course three elemental hero strap Stratos is the best normal summon in the deck. In fact, it's really just the only normal summon in the deck. I guess you could argue by on, but Stratos is the best one. Then we're playing two Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. This card's really integral in your combo, but it also gives you access to stuff like Dark Law, which is so powerful. One Honest Neos, again, in the combo, you guys don't have to search this. There's different ways to do it. However, if you guys do search this in the combo, it's even more powerful because you're just getting more damage on the board. But you can actually OTK without this card. This is just an addition on top of that, just in case you need it. Then for the little Destiny Hero package, we're playing two destiny hero malicious as well as one destiny hero denier denier is essentially a third malicious for you and this card is just insane it's made this package so so powerful and then we're playing the one evil hero dusted gold i honestly don't think the evil hero package is that good into today's format especially against a tier limit especially against a tier limit matchup which is probably going to be this format's best deck however the evil hero package is really powerful and it gives you the ability to just right your opponent's entire board which is insanely powerful so that's why you have to be playing it it's also searchable through your combo so that's really Really good then for the fusion spells we are playing three fusion destiny one dark calling one polymerization and one miracle fusion you only want to play one poly and one miracle because it is searchable within your combo you can draw them and still be able to combo however it's just better to just search them so that's why we're just playing the one on the one fusion destiny is the best one of course to draw because even after you do your full combo you can just activate your fusion destiny and then you can still make destiny hero destroy your phoenix enforcer so that's why we're playing the three then we're playing of course three a hero lives now a really cool thing about this deck that i want to mention is something like a hero lives remember how I talked about how there was a two card combo the two card combo could be either ferris and stratos or ferris and malicious or malicious and stratos doesn't really matter you can just start off by using a hero libs and if your opponent has an ash or something to stop it that's fine you really want to bait out your opponent's hand traps before you actually fully commit to a combo so that's why a card like hero lives is just insanely powerful because when it resolves it's insane right but if it doesn't resolve it's still fine because you're getting rid of your opponent's hand traps that they would otherwise use midway through your combo which could kind of disrupt your combo so you would rather them hit a card like hero lives and then of course we're playing three mass change mass change is another card that helps dodge hand traps if you summon your stratos and they try to imperm or veiler you can use your mass change to get rid of it and the effect will still resolve plus going first if you are forced to go first this is an otk profile but if you are go first to go first then you can make dark law and dark law is a really powerful card in today's format we're also playing one reinforcements of the army as well as one called by the grave of course this card is really powerful then the next nine cards in the deck are just hand traps because again you want to play going second and you don't want to play board breakers I'm, I'm going to explain this just a little bit because I think it's very important that people note that 
Board breakers, I think in this format, specifically with tier limit being so powerful and as, as strong as it is, you really don't want to play cards like lightning storm or super polymerization. Because first of all, if you are playing those kind of very powerful spell cards, if they eradicate or virus you, then those spell cards won't even matter. But on top of that, even if you resolve something like a lightning storm or a super polymerization against a tier limit player, they're going to get all their tier effects off. So for that reason, you don't really want to play board breakers. You want to play hand traps so that they can't even continue to combo. So for that reason, we are playing three dd crow which is one of the best hand traps in today's format so you want to be playing three of these and we're playing three ash which is the most generic hand trap but of course this card is very powerful against a lot of decks and three infinite impermanence imperm is a really good one because it acts like a hand trap for you but it also acts as a board breaker if you're going second and you draw this as your sixth card your opponent has like a draco stapelia or a totally awesome if you're going against sprite or any negate right you can just start off your turn by activating imperm to get rid of that negate so that's why i think imperm is really powerful because it can be used as a hand trap but also be used as a board breaking kind of card however i will say this another really cool card i considered and i'm showing it off here in the side deck and i did consider this however i just chose the imperm instead but if you guys want to try this out you can i want to give you guys an option three ghost spell so you can play ghost spell instead of imperm it's really up to you i think ghost spell is a really good card in today's format as well but again i just thought imperm just the fact that it acts as a board breaker for you drawing it going second is always going to be really good like as your sixth card versus drawing ash as your sixth card is not that great right but drawing imperm really is bell is also not that great as your sixth card so that's why i wanted to play the imperm i just wanted to give you guys another option right so that's it for the main deck it's a 41 card main deck again you're not playing any bricks in the deck outside of your increase your bursinatrix and your baby on you really don't want to draw these three you can even draw a dust of gold it's not that bad but you just don't want to draw these three all right then moving on to the extra deck here we are playing the one masked hero dark law of course this card is insanely powerful if you are forced to go first you can just end on a dark law the really cool thing about this deck if you are forced to go first you can still end on dark law plus like dpe and then you still have hand traps to back you up so i think this deck is really powerful as an otk deck but going first is actually not too bad either then we're playing the one anki as well this card just helps you otk if you are going second and then we're also playing the one masked hero blast now i do want to say this i'm not playing liquid soldier as you guys can see so we're not playing absolute zero we're not playing acid those cards are really good however in an otk build they don't actually provide you with anything that pushes your otk further or pushes your ability to break their board further so for that reason you're actually not playing liquid or absolute zero we're just playing the blast to dodge hand traps with stratos we're just playing the dark law as well as the anki to help you otk to help you control the board state so that's why it's very powerful then of course we're playing the main man himself elemental hero flame wingman just the fact that you can play this card and otk and win games with flame wingman is just insane to me this card of course is the main focus of the deck and then you have sunrise sunrise is such a good card just the fact that it searches miracle fusion for you but the other really cool thing is if you are going into the battle phase it has a really cool effect where it's when an attack is declared involving another hero monster you can target a card on the field and destroy it so if you are going into the battle phase and just trying to attack over your opponent's monsters, Sunrise will activate to pop another card your opponent controls, which is really, really powerful, really good OTK card. One Vision Hero Trinity, you can make this in your combo. And this card is just such a powerful card on its own. It becomes 5,000 attack. It can make two attacks. It's just really, really powerful. Then we're playing the one Elemental Hero, The Shining. Again, this is just more of a Miracle Fusion target if you want to go for a game. Just another option for you. We're playing the one Elemental Hero, Grand Merge, as well as the one Elemental Hero, Cosmo Neos. I'm going to explain this one just real quick. Grand Merge has a really cool effect where it gains attack equal to the fusion materials however you need two hero normal monsters most of the time if you're not making your flame wingman you're going to be making your grand merge the really cool effect with grand merge though is if it destroys the monster by battle you can special summon an elemental hero fusion monster from your extra deck ignoring its summoning conditions and the best one in the game right now to summon is your elemental hero cosmo neos cosmo neos is 3500 attack and it has some really cool effects but i want to say this in the future when we do get wake up your elemental hero you guys can actually summon this one rather than the cosmo neos i just want to give you guys an option at the moment we don't have wake up your elemental hero so that's why we're not playing it but i just have it shown down here because it becomes another option for you in the future right so that's why we're playing the one cosmo because of the grand merge but the cosmo could eventually become wake up your elemental hero and then we have the one destroyer phoenix enforcer of course and the one malicious bane very self-explanatory you need to be playing these two for the link monsters we are playing the one cross crusader the one infernal device which is the card that makes the entire combo live you can reveal your flame wingman and then that's going to be able to get you your avion and your burst tricks into your hand so that you can either make the flame wingman or you can make the grand merge combo right so that's why we're playing it we're playing the one wonder driver of course this card is integral it's so so good it resets any of your fusion spells which is really powerful and then we're playing the one dread decimator dread decimator is just one of those backup cards you rarely ever go into hit but it does kind of help you push for more damage so that's why we're playing the one up so that's it for the deck profile i'm really excited because the deck 
deck I think is really, really powerful. Again, it may not be the most competitive way to play the deck in today's format. However, I think it may be one of the most fun ways, especially the fact that we can utilize Flame Wingman and just have him be the centerpiece of the deck. Now, with all that being said, I'm really excited to get into this combo. So let's get into the two card OTK combo. All right, so I'm going to be showing you guys this insane two card combo. All you need is Vision Hero Ferris as well as Destiny Hero Malicious. Now, keep in mind, you are going second. So you're going to have a sixth card in hand. You're going to have six cards. And the really cool thing about this combo is you can also do it with Stratos and Malicious or Stratos and Ferris. You just have to switch up one step where the card you search is the one you're missing. So in this case, we're missing Stratos. So you guys are going to see we're going to search the Stratos in the combo. But let's say you have the Stratos. You can search the Malicious. You can search the Ferris and you can go from there. So it doesn't really matter. It's all the same combo. It's going to end on the same board and you are going to OTK your opponent. So let's go step by step here. We're going to start off by activating a Ferris, pitching our Malicious. Of course, we all know how powerful that is to summon our Ferris, activating its effect to get an increase onto our side of the field and then using our increase to special summon itself as well as a Vision Hero Vion. So once Vision Hero Vion is now on the board, you're going to activate its effect to send a card to the graveyard. In this case, because we don't have the Stratos, we're going to be sending the Shadow Mist to search the Stratos. We still have our normal summon very live in this situation and then we're going to use Vion to banish the Ferris to search a polymerization just get this out of the way early because we're going to link away these two to go into your Cross Crusader now Cross Crusader is going to activate its effect to summon back the Malicious you're going to activate Cross Crusader to tribute the Malicious so that you can add evil hero adjusted gold to your hand and this is really really important because adjusted gold and Malicious Bane are essentially the way you're going to be able to break your opponent's board and then push for a lot of damage so that's why in this case you're going to want to search the adjusted gold here here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to activate the Dusted Gold. I I'm just, it doesn't really matter what step you do this in. You can activate the Dusted Gold later. You can normal summon the Stratos here. It doesn't really matter. I just wanted to get the Dark Calling out of the deck. So here we just use the Dusted Gold, but again, it doesn't have to be this part of the combo. So then we're going to use the Malicious here. And then once we use the Malicious, we're going to summon another one, of course. And then we're going to summon our Stratos. Stratos is going to get to search us a hero monster from our deck to our hand. And here we are going to search a Destiny Hero Denier. All right. So Denier is very important to search here because Denier is a really powerful extension for you. So what we're going to do now is we're going to link away the Cross Crusader as well as the Malicious to go into our Wonder Driver. Wonder Driver is going to let us reset the Polymerization after we use it. So in this case, we're going to use the Polymerization. We're going to fuse the Stratos that's on our field as well as the Denier that's in our hand to make our Sunrise. All right. So Sunrise will now trigger to search a Miracle Fusion, but Wonder Driver is also going to reset the Polymerization so we can use it again, which is really nice here. All right. So here we get Miracle Fusion. Here we get Polymerization. We have so many Fusion spell cards in this deck. It's so crazy. They're all one ofs, but they're all searchable, which is the craziest part. So here you're going to use Denier Effect now to special summon itself, putting back the Banish Malicious into your deck. So now you can activate your Malicious again, which is so insane. The Denier is essentially a third Malicious for you. So what you're going to do now is you're going to link away the Denier as well as your Wonder Driver. So you can go into your Infernal Divisor. Infernal Divisor on summon will let you reveal a hero monster. Of course, we're going to reveal Flame Wingman, and then we're going to get to search its materials from our deck to our hand. So we're going to search the Burstinatrix as well as the A on here all right now here we have avion burstinatrix sunrise as well as infernal device on our side of the field what we're going to do here is we're going to use the malicious to summon out another one from deck now because we now have three hero monsters in our access we have destiny hero malicious we have elemental hero avion we have elemental hero burstinatrix we can use polymerization to fuse all three of them away to summon your vision hero trinity its attack gets doubled but it also gets to attack twice during the battle phase it cannot attack directly however the really cool thing about vision hero trinity is that it helps you break your opponent's boards if once you go into a bane the bane gets negated or somehow they have a monster that can't be destroyed by card effect or they have another card that's unaffected by card effects vision hero trinity what it lets you do is it lets you get a big monster that can attack twice that can help you push over those types of monsters in this combo but then now what you can see is we have the Burstinatrix and the Avion in our graveyard. We're going to activate our Miracle Fusion. We're going to fuse our Burstinatrix as well as our Avion away to summon the main man himself, Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. Now you guys can see how much damage we have on the board because Trinity is going to double its own attack. So it's at 5,000 just to start. So right now it's at 54. It's going to get to 56. Sunrise is such a good card 
for OTKing your opponent. And so then now we're going to activate our Dark Calling as our last piece using the Adusted Gold as well as the Malicious we have in our graveyard to summon Evil Hero Malicious Bane. So now this is your board. You have a monster with 5,600 attack, a monster with 4,400 attack that can pretty much break your opponent's entire board, a monster with 3,100 attack that when you do attack, it can pop another card on the field, and your Elemental Hero Flame Wingman as well as your Infernal Divisor. So this is your board. This is more than OTK. It pushes for so much damage. Again, you're really answering any real problem here. Sunrise is really cool because, again, when you're attacking, you can pop a card on the field. So if your opponent has a back row that you might be scared of in the battle phase or, you know, a field spell that you just want to get rid of, you can pop it. This is going to destroy all monsters your opponent controls. If your opponent has unaffected monsters or cards can't be destroyed by card effects, then you have the Trinity for that. So you're going to be OTKing your opponent. This combo is insane. Just the fact that it's a two card combo. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Now, I want to say just one thing before we end the video off here, and that is, you know, the nine hand traps we were playing, the three crow, three ash, and three imperm. Well, the really cool thing about this deck is those nine cards can just be substituted for anything else, depending on where the format goes. So what I mean by that is the core of the deck is going to stay the core of the deck. But let's say in a few months from now, trap based decks, floodgate based decks become better and more relevant Then those nine hand traps can move into being stuff like Harpy's Feather Duster, Cosmic Cyclone, Lightning Storms, etc, etc. So those nine cards, you can always just play around with depending on where the format goes. So if you guys are watching this in like three or four months and you're like, hey, Spanko, Tier Laments just got hit on a brand new ban list and they're not the best deck anymore. Okay, then you guys can swap out the DD Crows and let's just say Ghost Ogre becomes really relevant. You can put in Ghost Ogres instead. So that's the thing that I really like about this deck. You have nine slots essentially to just change around depending on what the meta is. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on Spanko. Deck profiles, combo videos, dual replays, all that good stuff right here on the channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned in for all that good stuff. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, Spanko side out. Peace.